Welcome to today's three-minute halacha as we continue to study the melacha of bona, of building, and in particular, what is the halacha of using a porta crib, particularly opening it or closing it up on Shabbat? Is that a question of building? In order to understand this, we need to remember that the melacha of bona is not just building large structures, but even performing a minor repair to a structure, as the Gmaran Shabbat and Dafkuf Bet and Mud Bet notes. And therefore, it is biblically prohibited to hammer a nail into the wall in order to hang a picture. On Shabbat, it is considered the prohibition of bona. But the question is, does the melacha of bona apply also to movable items, kalim, or just to the buildings themselves. The Gemara and Beit Zandaf, Yudam and Aleph debates this, and ultimately there are three basic opinions. Movable items are not included in the prohibition of Bona. Movable items are completely part of the prohibition of Bona, or that when it takes effort, when it takes strength and skill to be able to build something, the prohibition is Minat Torah, is prohibited. But if it's just a minor improvement, a small change, then it would be permitted on Shabbat. And that's the halacha in the Shulchan Aruch, in Siman Shin Yudalid, Seif Aleph, chapter 314, paragraph 1. Therefore, when it comes to assembling a crib or a table, since you tighten it and it involves strength and a measure of skill, it would be prohibited to do on Shabbat. However, the Chazon Ish notes that if it is assembled in a very loose fashion, then it could be permitted. What would be the case then in porter cribs? Porter cribs are meant to be assembled and disassembled, be opened and closed on Shabbat, and the halacha would not apply to them. A basis for this can also be found in the Gemara on Shabbat, Antaf Mem Zayin Amud Aleph, regarding the Mitashel Tarsim, the beds that coppersmiths used, which were portable beds. Apparently, they would travel from place to place and take with them a bed. And while the Gemara on Shabbat quotes the Tana, who says that those are considered a pro- prohibited to assemble on Shabbat, it's considered bona. Nevertheless, the conclusion is that one can use these beds on Shabbat because they were never assembled very tightly, did not need that strength, and therefore was not considered bona to construct them, nor does it qualify as a rabbinic prohibition because of the nature of opening and closing them. In a related topic, it would therefore be permitted as well to lengthen a table by adding leaves on Shabbat because it doesn't require any specific skill or strength and therefore permitted on Shabbat. This, of course, would be limited if there was a kind of a table that would require a very specific skill or it would require some special kind of tightening, then it could be prohibited on Shabbat. But porta cribs can be opened and can be folded up as well on Shabbat without a problem.